happy Thanksgiving, guys. It is a little after 6 in the morning. I have been up since 4.30 because somebody decided to bark his head off this morning for no reason. I'm looking at you, Panda. So I've been awake since 4.30 because I was my alarm was going off at 5 anyway, and once I was up at 4.30, I was like, I might as well just get up. So I gave myself enough time to do a treatment. That was the most important part of this. Um, eat a small breakfast. I will admit to getting like kind of nervous when I woke up this morning. I didn't feel like eating, but I knew I needed to eat, especially from like, from experience with my long training runs. When I did a mile and stuff, I need to eat or it just doesn't go very well and I'm doing three miles. So yeah, so I had a small bowl of oatmeal just to give me something. Um, and took Panda outside and then I got dressed. This thing is kind of annoying. It, it moves around and makes crinkly noises every time I walk, but you know what, whatever. So got that on there and uh, <coughs> we are here. It is finally the morning of the 5K and I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel if I'm excited, if I'm nervous, I don't know, I'm kind of both. But I think I'll be a lot more excited once we actually get there. Um, I am probably gonna listen to music on the way there and just get really excited. So the race goes off at 7.30, but they said to be there at 6.30. Um, just to, I don't know, they said to be there at 6.30, so I'm following their instructions. But, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys out there. The rest of these clips are going to be on my phone, um, because I'm not bringing my camera. I'm not going to run with a camera in my hand. So I'm going to have my phone anyway to track my pace, so I will have my phone on me. You guys can see the clips on there. And, um, I guess let's do this. And I hope you guys are going to have a great Thanksgiving. I don't think I expected this many cars here at this time in the morning, guys. It's like 6.28, 6.29 actually. But that's the turn for the 5K and everybody's going that way except for him. Miles. I got your feet right there, kind of. It's not light outside yet, but there you go. Alright, I'll see you guys once we get parked and out of the car. We've hit a mile. I didn't see a mile marker, but I don't know if they're gonna have one. So, first mile's on in 14 minutes. I'm gonna take it a little easy for about half a mile. Just walk. I went out too fast. I knew I shouldn't do that, but I did anyway. And, uh, having a lot of fun though. Just gonna catch my breath for a minute. I apologize for the shaky video because I'm running, but this is beautiful. I mean, can you think of a better way to serve Thanksgiving morning? Being out in nature like this. Two miles. I'm going to go. According to my thing. I have no idea if it's accurate, but. Two miles. More than halfway there. I was wondering when the coffee would start. It seems about now. But. Come on, Longs, we got this. Um, it's about 30 minutes, so it's already better than I did on Saturday. It's a beautiful morning. Okay, I'm not gonna make my 45 minute deadline because it's I'm at 40 minutes, but almost at three miles. I got some water, which helped because my mouth is really dry. And, uh, I'm getting tired, my ankles hurt a little bit, but honestly, guys, I'm having the time of my life. This has been worth all the training. And, uh, definitely want to run like one in April now, even though it's not so pleasant right now. It's a, it's a good feeling at the same time, so. Just go, I just need some really pump up music and finish this thing. Almost at the end now, I can hear the music from the starting line. My phone says 3.6 miles, so it should be about 0.4. Um, let's finish it on. I'm tired now, guys. I am not hyper like I was this morning, but I think I can run to the finish line. She's back there yeah. with mom. Yeah, she broke off. She mom did a quick U turn. Uh, yeah. right behind us.
Okay guys, as you saw, I finished. I got 48 minutes on my time. So I was telling you guys out there that I wasn't gonna make uh, 45 minutes, which was my goal, but it was only three minutes over. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I didn't come anywhere near last. There was probably at least 50 or 60 people behind me. So that made me feel better because I did walk. Um, well, you guys saw me talking to you out there, but I walked about half of it and ran about half of it. And um, at the end, I was just getting really tired. Um, my lungs had pretty much had enough, but I heard the music from the, the ending point. And I was like, all right, I can run this last what, point 10. So uh, I did, you saw me crossing the finish line and I got my medal. It says Gobbler 5K and the, the thing says 2019. I thought it was gonna be like a plastic medal, but it's actually like, like real metal. I don't know what kind of metal it is, but it's real metal. Um, so I'm gonna go home and take a shower because I am so sweaty, but guys, that was so much fun. I, I actually can't believe it's already over. Like the 48 minutes flew by. It didn't feel like like when I walked, the, obviously I wasn't running at that point, but when I walked the three miles on Saturday, I was like so bored by the time I hit two miles. Um, I was like just so done with it. But this time it was like, wow, I can't believe I'm already done when I hit the finish line, even though I was tired. So <clears throat> very happy with that. Um, I took a couple of clips along the course, but not a lot because it's kind of hard to film and run. And I was trying not to like film other people too much. But um, so they had like, there was one point where we turned around and they had like signs that had actually some of the quotes that I had saved on my phone, like don't stop when you're uh, tired, stop when you're done and stuff like that. And then they had a water station, you saw me go there and uh, that helped me get to the last, I guess it was like a mile after that. It was a little bit less than a mile after that. And um, I can say though that I'm hooked. It was tiring, but I'm hooked. Um, guys, I definitely want to run the 5K in April. So I am gonna, take most of December off of running because I am flying back to Arkansas next week um, <clears throat> but I'll start up again in January and like the end of December but I definitely want to run the 5k on the runway in January maybe I mean April and maybe then I can run the whole thing but right now I can tell you taking a shower changing out of my sweaty clothes and putting on um, and, and watching the Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade with a cup of coffee because I didn't have any coffee this morning sounds incredible um, well, right now I have water because probably better for me. But um, yeah, so that is it. That is a wrap. That's my first 5K and it was so much fun. The energy was so infectious. Um, I think I did go out a little too fast because I hit the half at like six minutes, which was faster than Monday, but I made up for it. And um, I actually feel less tired than I did when I ran the mile uh, two weeks ago, which is weird, but, um, yeah, so that's a wrap. Um, that's all I've got for today. It's going to be kind of a short one, but I'm so happy. Gobbler 5k in the books. Maybe I'll do the 2021 as well, but, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for coming along on this day today, this morning, I guess. And I hope you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I don't move from the couch because this was just part one of the day and the day's just going to get busier. So, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.